Hello everyone, welcome to today's video, and today is a special show and tell video. I'm going to be showing you my first motorcycle, the Yamaha V-Star 1100 Custom. It's a 2004 and it's definitely a mouthful of a title, but it spells out a great bike. Now again, this is my first motorcycle, so me saying it's a great bike is pretty subjective considering the only other one I've ridden was a Suzuki 250cc dinky little cruiser in my MSF course but I can definitely tell you it's a great bike for me. It is a little much for a first bike, but I'm glad I got an 1100. I was originally going to get a 650, but I wanted something that I could grow into and would last me a long time rather than start small and then get bored with it within a couple months, which is, I guess, something that happens with 250s and sometimes the 650s. Well, I figure that's enough talking for now. Now on to the main event, and for that, let's go outside. Alright guys, so here is my bike. It's a 2004 Yamaha V-Star 1100 Custom. Uh, what the Custom entails, I don't entirely know, but I will just show you the bike. I'll start her up so you can hear how she sounds, and I'll also go over some of the best features that I have on here. So, let's begin. So, a lot of the stuff on this bike isn't actually stock, but there are a lot of upgrades that were on this bike from when I got it. So, I'll go over some of those. One of those is the narrow windshield. Uh, it's not too tall, or fat, or wide, which is nice because it creates a little profile, a nice little air pocket while you're riding. So it's nothing too obnoxious, but it does have that nice little black tint towards the bottom, towards the set of headlights. Down the bottom here we have a nice 1100cc V-twin engine driving a shaft drive, which is located right there to the rear of the wheel. Now. Uh, originally I was hoping to get a Harley Davidson Fatboy as my first bike, but obviously that's a pretty huge investment, especially here in Minnesota where there's only about four good months to ride. But the shaft drive is nice, the only maintenance you have to do, uh, I'll be doing it every season for sure, is just drain out the oil in the shaft and then add new oil uh, at the beginning of each season, so that'll be that. A uh, really nice feature on this bike is actually right here. I'll get a little closer for you. It's kind of like a car volt, I think it's a 12 volt, 9 volt, I forget, but it's got like one of those old school car cigarette lighters, which they don't really come with anymore, they come with the 9 volt, 12 volt, whatever it is, they come with the plug, but they don't come with the actual cigarette lighter anymore, so there we go, you can light your cigarettes, or what I do is if I'm on the road, I'll go ahead and put, plug my phone charger in there, flip the switch on, and I'll let it sit in my saddle bag while it's charging. So if I ever got in a situation where I'd be stranded, I would at least have a fully charged phone. So we'll go ahead and take a look at the controls on this bike. Obviously over here we have our high beam, low beam settings. We have the uh, indicator lights, the turn signals, the choke, and of course the horn, which is not working because I don't have the key in it right now. Then over on the other side, we have the kill switch and the ignition switch. Fuel tank right there, speedometer, tripometer, and of course all your indication lights, neutral oil, um, your turn signal indicator right there. And then we'll just do a little walk around here. Here's the back end of it. Obviously duct tape on the license plate because I'm not going to broadcast my license plate to the world. Then we come to this side, this is where there's enough chrome to choke a rap star. Just beautiful. I got uh, Vance and Heinz pipes, uh, other end of the motor, and what's really nice is I have a butterfly, butterfly valve air intake right here. Uh, when the bike's running, those are actually flipping open and closed, and I'll actually show you that once I start her up here in just a second. And something else you might have noticed is on this side, I don't have a highway peg and this side I do. Uh, I've attached one, I just didn't have another bolt to attach the other uh, highway peg. So I'll be doing that soon, I just gotta get to an Ace Hardware or Home Depot or whatever. Uh, not really too many bad things to say about this bike other than it is really big for a beginner. Um, I definitely went from a 250cc Suzuki like dinky little cruiser in my motorcycle safety foundation course to this. I feel I'm spoiled rotten for a first bike, but it is pretty awesome. A um, couple minor complaints. Uh, the seat is fantastic for me. 
The complaint is it's terrible for a passenger. It actually comes up in a cone shape, which is a little invigorating for the passenger when they sit on it, because basically the seat pretty much goes up their rear end. So that's not too comfortable for the passenger. And also uh, a well-known problem with the Yamahas, the oil filter is actually located behind this circular panel. So you actually have to take off your exhaust pipes in order to get to the oil filter. So they do sell real oil, re oil relocation kits. I just probably won't get one because I hear that the seals on them break. So, and they're fairly expensive. And then down here we have the gear shift and I opted for uh, the pegs instead of the floor panels just because I don't prefer the floor panels. I don't like getting too terribly comfortable. Obviously that's coming from someone who's gonna have both highway pegs on here, but I just don't like the feel of the floor panels, but that's just me. And the last thing I'll show you is right above that peg there, we have the reserve switch. So we can go ahead and flip that whenever we pretty much run out of gas. That'll give us an extra, I'd say about 10 miles at best, but hopefully enough to get you to a gas station wherever you're at. All right, well, that's enough talking. Let's go ahead and put the key in and we'll start her up. There we go. Oh, sorry, I'm trying to hold the camera and do this at the same time. about 38 miles I'm good so we're in neutral so I can just go ahead and start it Beautiful. Rest in peace, headphone users. I'm pretty sure that, uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure whoever came to the park for a nice quiet day, unfortunately, just had it ruined a little bit by me. Now, the auto volume control on my camera obviously won't make it too exorbitantly loud when you listen to the pipes. Uh, they're not crazy loud. I think you'll know what I mean when I say this. They're not crazy loud. They're respectably loud. They got a nice growl to them. They're not going to be anything like Screaming Eagles where you can hear them three miles down the road. Uh, but they're, they're tolerably loud enough to where you won't... They're tolerably loud enough to where you won't drive yourself insane riding it or feel like you have to ride the airbags. Alright, I'll give you guys one last quick walk around. Then I think we'll call her a day. Well, I hope I don't forget to take that duct tape off before I leave here or else... Lord knows I could pull over for that. Alright you guys, thank you so much for watching today's show and tell video on my first motorcycle, the Yamaha V-Star 1100 Custom. Now if you have any questions about this bike, please let me know down below. I'm not too mechanically savvy yet, but I am learning, so... Please let me know if you have a question, I will do my best to answer it in the comments section. If you like this video, please hit that like button, and if you really enjoy this video, please hit that subscribe button, I would greatly appreciate it. As always, thank you guys so much, have a great night!